Hello YouTube, I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm showing you how to properly do a proper Android backup on your Galaxy S5. Now you must be rooted. So if you guys are not rooted yet, I'll leave a link down below for a proper video and written step-by-step -step guide on how to properly root the Galaxy S5 like I have in my hand. Now this Android backup method will work with every single Galaxy S5 variant. Um, so octa-core, US variant, international, quad-core, really any variant, T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, any variant, it's going to work as long as you're rooted with the proper recovery. In this case, today's recovery, I'm going to be using Clock Remote Recovery slash Phil's Touch Recovery. You might be using TWRP Recovery, which is very similar, but today we're going to go ahead and use Phil's Touch Recovery, uh, the one that I use with the routing guy. Um, so let's go ahead and enter into recovery mode where we actually perform the Nandroid backup. So let's go ahead and power off our phone. And while it's powering off, I'm going to go ahead and explain what a Nandroid backup is. It's going to fully backup everything down to the last detail, pictures, music, apps, apps, app data, widgets, wallpaper, anything that uh, you can possibly have on your Android device, internal uh, memory, it'll go ahead and back it up, uh, which is really great. And I think it's still powering off. I just tried it earlier and you usually feel a vibration once it does power off. Okay, there we go. Now I feel a vibration. So once you feel that vibration and the screen, of course, power uh, turns off, we're going to go ahead and press the volume up, home button and power button all at the same time. So just press all three at the exact same time and just keep holding it down until you see this blue uh, text right here at the top of the top left corner of the Galaxy S5 screen. And that means we're entering into recovery mode. Yes. So there we go. So here's recovery mode. Um, so you have all these options. And like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using Phil's t uh, Touch Recovery. Um, it's very similar to Clock Remote Recovery. So you can have Clock Remote Recovery or Phil's Touch Recovery. This is going to be very similar. And if you're running on TWRP Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project, um, it's going to be pretty similar. It'll look a little bit different, but overall, it's going to be the same steps. You just It'll just say backup instead of backup and restore and all that. Um, so what we're going to be doing is go ahead and tap on backup and restore right here. And you have all these options. So you can go ahead and backup to SD card, restore, delete uh, backup from the SD card, custom backup, custom rest restore. You have all these options as you, as you can see on the screen. Uh, for this video, we're going to go ahead and just back it up to our internal SD card. So we're just going to choose the very first one. SD card and it's going to go ahead and perform that whole task as you can see it is backing up now depending on how many apps you have music movies uh, you know app data all that stuff it could take a few minutes um, so just be patient um, but you'll see all the status right here it'll go um, it's never frozen on me before so just be patient um, you know before it's taken me up to 10 minutes even just because it backs up everything on my internal SD card um, you know like I mentioned earlier app data all that good stuff and if you guys are wondering why the hell would you want to do this why would you want to waste all this uh, you know uh, memory to back up your Android device now the main reason why you want to do this is so whenever you install custom ROM just in case if that custom ROM doesn't work maybe you get stuck in a boot loop maybe you lose that data you have that backup right here so you can go and restore it just in case something goes wrong now I highly recommend you do a Nando backup each and every time you you know mess around with your device. Anything that requires root or anything, just make a Nando backup before you do it just in case. You can never be too sure. It only takes a few minutes. It's not a big deal, but overall it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wait till it's done backing up and I'll be right back. Okay, so about after 5 minutes it's actually done and it's kind of dim just cuz it automatically dims it because it's you no know, it knows it's gonna be a long process. So now it says press any key to continue. We'll just go ahead and tap on the screen and boom, there we go. So now we have the backup on our internal SD card. But let's say you're gonna go ahead and install a custom ROM and with that with any custom ROM no matter what you need to do a factory reset no matter what. That's just mandatory or you're gonna run into boot loop most of the time. So if you do a factory reset your you know, your Nandro backup will be deleted. So your Nandro backup is, you know, within your backup of your phone, but you need to go ahead and make copies of them to your external SD card if you have one, and one to your computer just in case something goes wrong, you have spare files, because it will get deleted if you install a new custom ROM. Trust me, <laughs> I just had experience probably a couple hours ago where I, where I realized that, oh crap, I only have it on my internal SD card, it got deleted, and all my apps were gone. But thankfully, I just... um. Uh, transfer all of my app data from my Nexus 5 to my Galaxy S5 uh, within a few minutes. So that wasn't a big deal. 
um, but I forgot that I had uh, only one copy of my internal SD card, so make sure you do make copies of them to your computer and external SD card. Um, and I'll show you right here, we actually have the file, so if we tap on restore from SD card, where we actually saved it, we can go ahead and tap on it, and as you can see, it gives you right here, the file name and all that. And Alliance ROM is the custom ROM I'm currently using with TouchWiz, so there you guys go. So that is how you do properly do an Android backup. This will take quite a bit of space for your internal or wherever you're gonna restore or back it up. So so make sure you have enough space and of course you can go ahead and make copies to your computer then delete it on your internal SD card to save memory. So that's how you guys do it and of course if you want to go and reboot just go ahead and go back, reboot system and then you're good to go. That is how you do a Nando backup on your Galaxy S5. I highly recommend you guys do it after you finish rooting. You know if you ever do custom ROMs, if you ever flash a zip file within the Galaxy S5 custom recovery, you need to do an Android backup before you even uh, you know think about performing that step. That's it guys, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial slash guide, be sure to like and subscribe in the bounce man corner right there. Peace.